Friends, welcome back. It's John Ross here, and I have another fun-filled science activity for you today. This activity specifically targets the study of weather, which is done largely in the state of South Carolina in second and fourth grade. One of the things that our second and fourth grade teachers are supposed to do is lead our students through the exploration of temperature. Um, and what I have found in my time of teaching is that many of our students, while they are aware that, oh, it's really hot, it's 90 degrees, or it must be 110 degrees, uh, or it's really cold, it must be 10 degrees, they don't really know how to use a thermometer. So this lab right here is set up so as to teach the kids how to read thermometers. Now before we actually even do the lab itself though, I walk the students through how to properly read the thermometer scale, whether that's Fahrenheit or Celsius. Now, got something cooking over there. Let's talk about this real quick though. We got three cups. One cup is room temperature water. Room temperature now. Second cup right here ice cold water. And back here, we got a hot pot that's boiling some water. Now it's really hot, hence the name. And you gotta watch out for that steam. Because if you are not careful, woo, you will burn yourself. Now, I'm gonna pour some of that scalding hot water in that third cup. Now, I'm going to set this down gently, carefully, and let's bring our attention here to our three cups. Again, we got room temperature, ice cold, and we got scalding hot. If this is room temperature and our thermometer has been hanging out in our room for a while, we shouldn't see a big change. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in there nonetheless. And we're going to watch and check and observe and see if our alcohol within the thermometer does anything at all. Hmm. Not much going on? Alright, well now let's check what happens when we move it to the scalding hot. Is the alcohol rising? It's going through the roof. And the whole time, the kids are like, Whoa! Look at that! So cool! Did you see that? You would think that I showed them the coolest thing in the world. Now, let's watch what happens to that alcohol when we switch it to the ice cold water. Is it dropping? Yeah. It's doing what it's supposed to. That alcohol's dropping. And again, the kids are like, Whoa! especially our second grade friends and this is just a really neat way for them to explore thermometers and get some practice reading them and typically I have a little lab sheet with um, three different columns or, or rows with um, one where they record the temperature of the room temperature water another where they record the temperature of the hot water and then another where they record the temperature of the ice cold water. And that's our fabulous lab for the day. Thank you and we'll see you next time.